Okay. We're shooting the hard and the uh, 3D printed rounds through this glass jaw. I'm going to shoot this and I'm going to shoot this. Got three BBs seated in the middle on the inside of it with a nice plastic tip on it. Nice pointed plastic tip. And this round ball has two BBs in it. I'm going to be shooting the round balls first. Actually, no, I'll shoot the, uh, I'll shoot the, uh, 3D printed slug first, and then I'll shoot the round ball. shooting. Three, two, one. I don't even think I hit it. I hit the corner of it so it didn't even go through. I have another 3D printed slug. I have another 3D printed slug. Uh, same hardened, uh, same same plastic pointed tip with three BBs in the middle. All right, shooting in three. Two, one. Okay, that was that. Now shooting the round ball. Shooting round ball in three, two, one. All right, let's check it out and see what we got going on here. Now, the actual glass jar is untouched it's not even damaged but I screwed the top on the top landed all the way over here just to show you how far away that's how much energy it had as it entered as it entered through this hole that's how much energy it has as it entered through this hole, this this hole right here. And it caused it to push enough of the water out to cause this to land all the way over here. Now, as far as the round ball itself and how it's holding up. Now, as you can see, we got one BB back there. And on the round ball itself, it did not hold up too well.
I'm going to try to give you a little bit of light right there. Make sure y'all can see. Check out the how it was printed, how it was constructed. Try to get it to focus a little bit so you can see the layering of the 3D printed round. This is how the slug looked on the inside. We got little pieces of the slug back here. A little back piece of it. 